Hi, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to install Windows 10 inside VirtualBox. Now, in order for us to do this, if we don't have a copy of a Windows ISO, we're going to head over to the Microsoft Evaluation Center. And inside the Evaluation Center, we're going to be able to download a copy of the Enterprise ISO. This is going to be very useful, especially if you don't have a copy. So what I'll do is I'm going to put a link in the description uh, that will allow you to download your own copy. So the first part of the evaluation is you get to select a 90 day evaluation period of either the ISO for the enterprise. And we're going to do that and we're going to select continue. And then in here, it's going to ask for some information about who you are and some contact information. So we'll just skip that part. You can fill it in on your own. And for the evaluation, you can select a 32 64 bit version and then you can click on that and then it's ready to download. So now the download, it is a five gig file. It will take some time to download depending on your connection. We're just going to skip all of that and teleport ourselves into the future where we already have it downloaded. So let's minimize this and here we go. So here's our downloads folder and here is the ISO with the incredibly long name. So that is the ISO. So we're ready to go. Let's open up VirtualBox and we can create, let me move it here and we can create a new VirtualBox and we'll click on that. So we have to first give ourselves a name. So I will just type in Windows 10. The machine folder we're going to leave as default and the machine type yes by default it's selected as microsoft windows which is great here's all the other defaults and it has already pre-selected windows 10 64 bit so we're looking good we can click on next memory size now by default is giving us two gigs you want a minimum of four uh, we can go all the way up to i don't know 12 but i'm going to keep it around eight gigs i think that should be more than sufficient for this installation um, this is a 16 gig PC that we're installing it on. So that looks good. Let's click on next. And for the hard disk space, we're going to keep it at the default of create a virtual hard disk now, and we'll click on create. And for hard disk file type, uh, the virtual box disk image uh, by default is what we're going to select. We'll click on next. And for storage on a physical hard disk, we're gonna keep it dynamically allocated. We don't wanna have it fixed size in case things change. That's up to you though. For file size and location, the default folder is fine. Now 75 is definitely recommended. We're gonna go up to 100 gigs and click on create. I think anything below 75 gigs might cause some issues. So uh, keep it at 75 or greater. So that is done. Uh, we're done with the wizard, but we're not done setting it up. We need to go into settings and do a few more modifications here. Um, under general, everything is good, but we want to go over to advanced. So in advanced for shared clipboard, we want to select bi-directional and then do the same for drag and drop bi-directional description. We're going to leave as is and disk encryption as is in system. We're going to leave the memory. This is what we had adjusted just previously. For processors, we're going to boost this up a bit from one CPUs to the max that it allow us, which is four. And acceleration, again, default settings, not touching anything here. Display, default settings. Storage, this is the next most important part. We have to select the ISO file. So where the CD is, we're going to click on empty. And then over on the right hand side, click choose a disk file. Now you got to go where you downloaded your ISO image. For us, it's in our downloads folder. So we'll head over to our downloads folder. And then there is the ISO image with the incredibly long name. So we'll make sure we select this image file and then click on open. And then here it is. So just to verify that it is the correct one, if you remember the number, which I don't, but I only have one ISO and that is definitely it. Uh, so on the left hand side, the rest of these folders, we're leaving as default settings. We're not going to change anything here. So once that's complete, we can click on OK. And now we're ready to start the virtual box.
So here we can just click on the green start arrow and it'll start booting up. Okay, so now it wants us to select a startup disk. Now over here, if you had multiple ISOs in your folder, they would be in the drop-down list. Now we only have one, but there would normally be a few here. Uh, so you want to make sure you are selecting the correct one. This looks good. We're ready to go. We can click on start. Okay, so Windows is now going to boot up. And we'll speed it up for you. So by default for the language that's being installed, we'll just close these off. We're going to keep it as United States English and click on next. And then we can click on install now. Okay, and then we'll get the setup window here. Uh, we're going to accept the license and then check it off and click on next. We're not going to be doing an upgrade for this installation here. So we want to go down to uh, the custom Windows installation. We're not going to be changing or making new allocations here. So we'll click on next. And it'll start to copy files. This might take some time. We'll speed it up. Okay, and typically it'll reboot once that part is done. And then we're gonna go into a few more configuration steps. Again, we're just speeding this up. Okay, so right here, uh, it wants to confirm the region. We're gonna stick with the United States, click on yes. Okay, and then the keyboard layout, we're sticking with US again. I'm gonna close these off so you can read it properly. Okay, and then yes. And we don't want a second keyboard skip. Okay. Again, we'll have to speed this up. Okay, so here, we're not gonna be signing into the Microsoft system. We don't wanna create a new username, so we're gonna select domain join instead and now we're just going to type in a username in here and for us that's we're going to type in geek rar and then we can click on next and then a password so you just type in a password here and we'll ask to confirm it so we'll type it one more time And now it wants some security questions. So we'll just pick the first one. What is the first name here? Okay, so we'll just type in Mark and next, okay. And the second one, let's do childhood nickname. How about Mark again? Next, and the last one is, okay, let's just pick oldest cousin. Okay, let's just do Mark. Mark is gonna be my answer for everything. Okay, that's good, click on next. And so it wants to know your privacy settings. I'm gonna turn absolutely everything off because I find a lot of these things annoying, but you can choose what you like, click on accept. Oh, the Cortana is pretty annoying. I am turning it off, but if you like to listen to that voice, then go right ahead and keep it selected. All right, we are almost done. Final steps here. Again, I'm gonna fast forward this so you don't have to watch the whole thing. And here we are, we're at the Windows desktop and we have fully installed Windows 10 on VirtualBox and we are up and running now. So further from this, you, you can do is you can install guest editions so you can actually expand this window uh, to full screen and I'll add a quick video on how to do that next. Um, but that's just basically how to get Windows 10 in VirtualBox running on a Windows 10 PC.
If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching.